right out of the gate, the 59 kilo category struggled to find their queen. Many thought Kuo Sung Chun would naturally take the throne and hold it, but instead something very different happened. You should never bet against a five-time world champion. Yeni Alvarez and her home world championships originally jumped to the forefront with the win in spectacular fashion. It comes down to this. But it didn't take long, five months in fact, until Ukraine's Kamila Konotop moved into the lead in the world rankings. And then just a month after that, when China's Lo Shi Fang bumped everybody down a spot by soaring ahead of the rest of the Asian Championships. And what makes this category so incredible is that it includes three Olympic champions from the last games. Haidan Diaz, who won at 55, Kuo Sung Chun at 59, and Mo Charong at 59. Currently, Mo is doing the best of the three. But back to Lo Shi Fang, whose meteoric rise is one of the great successes of this Olympic quad and a great example of the continual battle shown by athletes who not only have to fight to get into the top 10, but who have to fight against their own teammates in other weight categories to secure one of the three slots their country can earn. And so while Lo Shi Fang hasn't been moved out of the number one spot since the Asian Championships in May of 2023, she has continued to increase her lead over all other 59s, including those three Olympic champions and the 2022 world champion Alvarez. 230 kilos, 238, 243, and then most recently in Doha, a staggering 247 kilo total, some 9 kilos ahead of anyone else. Also, as a quick reminder, these athletes have an 18 month Olympic qualification window within which to make a total that ranks them in the top 10 in the world. Right now for the 59s, that's around 222 kilos. Compared to the other dominant Chinese lifters in other Olympic categories, Lo Shi Fang is third in terms of the percentage that they stand ahead of the current number two ranked lifter in the world in their category. She's behind the 49 and the plus 87, but ahead of the 71 and 81. Her fight in Thailand at the World Cup to increase that percentage lead to over 5% will do a lot to help her solidify a spot on China's Olympic team. Since her win in Colombia, Yeni Alvarez has seen a drop in performance though her 334 kilo total holds her at number 3 in the world. Let's talk about the three Olympic champions, Mode, Kuo and Heidelin, who currently sit in 4th, 5th and 7th in the world. Mode has looked stronger and stronger this quad, almost totally avoiding the drop in performance that you'd expect from the initial weight cut from moving down from 64 to 59. She's held strong in the rankings, initially in 3rd by taking bronze at the first qualifying event, a spot behind Kuo Sung Chun, who took the silver, She's then climbed ahead of Kuo by a kilo, a 233 kilo total that she hit in Doha at the end of 2023. And that performance, a 104 kilo snatch and a 129 kilo clean and jerk, solidified her above arguably the most iconic female lifter of all time, a five time world champion. And it's not like Kuo Sung Chun has seen a drop off in performance during this qualifying period. Of course, she is some 17 kilos off her all time best. But her numbers have held pretty consistently, 232, 230, 231. Her time at the absolute pinnacle of the sport is likely behind her though. And then there's Heidelin Diaz, who famously won Philippines' first Olympic medal in 20 years with her spectacular defeat over Lao Chi Yun the only person to defeat the Chinese at the last Olympics. She's had a tougher time than the others, having to gain significant body weight, but she has made amazing progress. A gold medal at the World Championships in the 55 kilo category, her last competition that light, before increasing her total by 17 kilos to 224. She now sits in seventh in the world. But the athletes who sit in the positions below her are in the most danger. Eighth through 10th have targets on their back, with 11th through 17th only separated by 7 kilos. And in Thailand, all of these athletes will be gunning for the spots. Possibly the most interesting of whom is Nina Sturks from Belgium. Now, some of you may remember I mentioned Nina Sturks in the 49 kilo episode. And why? Well, it's because she's actually ranked in the top 10 there. She'll get an invite, but she's currently a 59, and a fully sized one. She's stronger here, happier here. It's definitely her category, but unfortunately, she still hasn't managed to sneak into the top 10. Interestingly, this same thing happened to her at the last Olympics, where she had to cut down from 55 to 49, which was tough. But if she doesn't qualify in the 59s, she'll have to cut 10 kilos of body weight, nearly 20% of her entire weight. 
Two things worth noting here. She sits in 11th, which isn't as bad as it sounds. You see, once the USA removes Taylor Wilkins, who sits at 10th, something they will do because there are more than three higher ranked USA weightlifters right now, Nina Sturks will move into 10th. It's also possible that Ukraine is banned for too many positive doping tests, and that China doesn't send a low Xi fan. And if that happens, then suddenly everybody moves up by three spots. And secondly, she took some massive attempts to move into the top 10 at the most recent European Championships. Despite a personal record snatch at 101 kilos, she couldn't make it. So Thailand will be enormous for her. She needs to crack the top 10 and also avoid the attacks from all of the trailing women trying to take a spot. A few more honourable mentions within that trailing list. One is Italy's Lucrezia Magistris, who sits in 12th. That 12th could be 10th once athletes are potentially removed, but it's certainly far from secure. And secondly, Dora Chikunti from France, who might not make the top 10, but could still receive a home nation invite. There are plenty of other chasing athletes, the more famous ones of whom are Zoe Smith from Great Britain, Kiana Elliott, who could end up in a continental slot, Andrea Petruta from Romania, and so on. The last chance qualifier at the IWF World Cup in Thailand starts on March 31st and will be available to watch with commentary from myself and my co-commentator Max Ater at Weightlifting House TV. There's also a ton of exclusive training and backroom content from these very athletes, Luo Xu Fan, Kuo Sun Chung, Liu Crezia, and more, which are all available for you to watch exclusively at Weightlifting House TV. The link is down below.